In this video, we will be adding a first person view. Made it really simple, also these guys aren't a part of it. To start, go to your player character and I am using the third person example character. Go to your viewport tab where you can see your mesh and cameras. Check if you have this spring arm component or it could be renamed to camera boom. This handles extending the camera distance which we don't want for a first person view, so we want to delete this component. Now get our camera component and click and drag it onto your mesh character. This gets attached to the mesh, however, we can go further and attach it to the bones of the character. Go to this parent socket tab, and search for head. Now it's attached to the head. This makes doing the location and rotation easier to change. Our camera is all the way here. We need to mess with the settings. First set location to zero. Set your camera's rotation to minus 90 so it faces the correct direction. This may vary if you have custom meshes. Now you can change the location more to fit your style. I'll try numbers on the Y to be 10 or 12. Always test when making changes to see if you have errors or bad values. Right now, our issue is that we can't control the camera. To fix this, there is option in the camera's setting called Use Pong Control Rotation. We enable it so the camera uses the player's control rotation because players use control rotation rather than actor rotation. Now test and this is another issue, our rotation doesn't rotate the mesh, only rotates the camera. To fix this, go to your default settings by clicking on this top button here. Search for yaw. You need to enable use controller rotation yaw, this rotates the character with the camera left and right. Compile and test again and the first person view should work. Now I am going to change a few settings in the movement to make it better such as our walking speed. Click on character movement and find max walk speed. I changed it to a smaller number like 300. You can change crouched and the acceleration values too. Another setting is to do with the rotation. We enabled the rotational yaw so we want to disobey this setting here, orient rotation to movement. Once that is unchecked, go test the game. Change the values for the walk speed depending on your game style. Now I will mess with other camera settings to improve it. First I will fix my location of the camera so it is a bit further behind. Next we have a setting called field of view. This is in a lot of video games and this controls the camera's view angle. For example, put it to 170 or type a higher value and you get this stretched vision when you test. Same with if you went with a low number and your vision is zoomed in. You need to test the values or keep it at 90, it will vary depending on the style of game you want. However for my horror games, I like to go with 50 or 60. This gives an up close experience and it's a bit more realistic. Now I want to change the values of how high up or down you can look. First, go to your character's event graph. Search for an event begin play, if you already have one it will take you to it. Right click on empty graph and search for get player camera manager. This has all the code to manage anything with cameras. Drag from the return value and search for set view pitch min. We also want to search for set view pitch max. We will experiment with values. First minus 50 and 50. Test and you can see how it works. I will try other values too like minus 10 or minus 80 and test along the way. You will need to figure out the values but I do enjoy minus 80 and 60 as it's enough that it doesn't break the character's neck. Final thing is post process. All cameras have their own post process added where you can change a few values. I am going to disable the lens flare as an example. I want to make this post process effects a separate series. However that is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing and sharing. See you next time.